Hey everyone, it's Lee here and I am standing over the city of Bacharach am Rhine or Bacharach on the Rhine River and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's, uh, it's uh, late October and it's uh, a little cool but uh, it's a beautiful sunny day. You can see the, you can see the, um, the grapes are nice and yellow. I've got a nice castle behind me. There's an old castle there and that is um, actually from um, um, the Middle Ages, but now it's a, a youth hostel, so you can actually go there and, and spend the night if you like. And uh, beautiful, so Bacharach, beautiful city. I'll try to get some some nice shots. Uh, you can only basically see the see the hills over there. You can see the Rhine River, uh, but uh, city from the Middle Ages and um, a very important city during the Middle Ages uh, for wine export um, and for transportation along the Rhine River, of course. Uh, but uh, it, it kind of shut down in, um, in around uh, the late Middle Ages, around the 1600s or so, and nothing, nothing much happened. And it was kind of like a sleeping beauty on the Rhine River and nothing happened. And then in the late um, uh, 19th century, in, in the uh, 1800s, um, uh, people discovered it, tourists discovered it, and it was kind of woken up and uh, it became a, a tourist hotspot for artists and wine connoisseurs. So, so wine is very important and travel is very important. So a beautiful day here in Bacharach and uh, we're, we're going to walk around and take some more photos and uh, thanks for joining us. All right. Strolling down the main street, we come to some of the most beautiful houses in all of Bacharach and truly some of the most beautiful houses on the Rhine itself. Passing by the Altus house or the, the old house, uh, it dates all the way back to 1389. Um, and it's one of the most famous houses on the Rhine River and made famous uh, truly by the artists who came in the 17th century. And uh, now there's a great restaurant inside and you can go inside and look at pictures of the town and it is, it is truly, truly fascinating. Um, and then we'll come by on the right, down the road, there's the, uh, the, the Alta Munza, or the, um, the old coinage, if you will. And uh, coins were made here back in the Middle Ages. And if you look at the side of the, of the building, there's a plaque that has some of the history of the building. And it goes all the way back to 1356. And uh, today it's a wine bar. You can go inside and have a nice uh, glass of wine and relax a little bit. And then we uh, continued to, to walk down the, uh, the street and just exploring the city. It's just fascinating, all the, the old half-timbered houses. Uh, many of them have, um, have notes or have messages written on them. And if you understand German, if you could read German, you can read what some of these messages say. Some of them are very enlightening. A couple of my favorites are, there's one that says, um, um, I've seen centuries go by. And through God's grace or God's goodness, I persisted. And then my real favorite one says, wine and fun will make you happy. And uh, who could disagree with that, right? That's a pretty good message, I think. I continue walking through the town towards the vineyards on the outskirt of town. There's a, there's a small path um, through the vineyards that will take you to the, the post term the Posten term, or otherwise known as the Sentry's Tower, um, and uh, it it offers great views over the city. You can you can climb up it to the top of the tower and look out over the Rhine River and the vineyards. Great, uh, beautiful views uh, provides. Uh, you can look down and see the uh, the Church of Saint Peter, which can't be missed. Um, it's in the center of town. The construction was started here in the eleven in the eleven hundred, and it took over two hundred years to complete. And then looking over from the uh, from the the church, you can see the the ruins of the Werner Capella, and um, this was made famous by Victor Hugo as he was touring along the the Rhine River, and he he wrote a book in 1842 uh, an 1842 travel book, and um, and, and uh, he said this is Bacharach, land of fairy tales covered with legends and sagas. So. Uh, I think that's a pretty accurate description of Bacharach from Victor Hugo.
If you go back into town and you walk past the um, Church of St. Peter, and then you take the trail and walk past the Werner Capella, you'll find a trail that will take you up um, up uh, over the city to Berg Stalek, which is a uh, fortified, or was a fortified 12th century castle, which towered over the city. Um, uh, many wars took, battles took place here. In 1632, it was taken over by the Swedes and damaged during the Thirty Years' War. It was... Um, repaired, but then uh, Louis the Fourteenth, the Sun King of France, uh, conquered it, and it was pretty much completely damaged, destroyed in 1689, and laid in ruins for a while, and then in the 17th century, um, it, it was, later in the 17th century, it was rebuilt, and then uh, currently it's a youth hostel, and it has family rooms and a restaurant. It's a great place to, uh, to sit and look out over the Rhine River with very beautiful views. You can go either way through town, up to the vineyards or up past the Werner Capella, and hiking opportunities are endless. Many trails branch out over the, over the village and over the Rhine Valley through the vineyards. One of the, the, the best routes is called the, um, the Stadtmauer Rundweg, and that's about a seven and a half mile uh, trail that circles the, the way of the old city wall but uh, you can do part of it, you can do the whole thing, and it just gives you a great view, of uh, beautiful views of the Rhine Valley and the vineyards and the village of Baccarat. So thanks for joining us today. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tour of Bacharach am Rhein. Um, if you liked it, please hit the like button and uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us a comment. Let us know about your experiences in visiting Germany, uh, visiting uh, Bacharach, the Rhine Valley, and what your thoughts are on some delicious German wine. Thank you. We'll see you next time.